Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC 152 alongside the reigning and defending M1 Global Light Heavyweight Champion Vinny Magales, who I believe defended his title tonight, right? You know, like, to be honest with you, I don't hold any title anymore. I sold the only title I had on eBay. It went for good money, too. Now, like, you know, what I'm looking for, which, you know, not many people are going to believe is the, you know, the real gold, which is the UFC title. It's just the first step, you know, like, really, like, you know, I should have a lot of things to do, like, but uh, I'll get there one day. I'll get there. And by the way, just for the record, did you actually sell it? No. Oh, okay. I, I tried to. Then the, the next day I realized, I was like, you know, nobody's going to be buy buying this thing, like, for, like, any, like, real money, like, you know, any anything decent. I just decided to keep it like for my son, you know, like as a toy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I have like a 21 months old son, like he loves it. Every time he sees the belly, there's like a little Brazilian flag on it. And he was like, Brazil, Brazil, grab Brazil for me. So it's like, yeah, so I'm keeping it for him. Well, congratulations on picking up uh, this massive win for you and your return to the UFC. What's it like? You know, you, you were outside of the UFC for eight fights. You, you worked so hard. You were campaigning to get back in. Here you are, and you look so good. What's this like for you? And, and I'll be honest with you, like, I think the whole thing, like, being dropped by the UFC was awesome because I should not be in the, first, in the UFC the first place in the first time. And, uh, you know, with the whole experience that, like, you know, I got, like, out of the UFC, it was good. Actually, t t tonight I was surprised in the locker room how, like, calm it was. How, like, you know, I wasn't nervous at all. Like, actually, for my last two fights in the other promotion, I was a little bit more nervous about, like, you know, keep, keep it winning to, to get back in the UFC. And today was like my first real fight in the UFC, and I was so calm. So yeah, I think that was you know a good thing for me. Did that go exactly how you planned it to go? You know, I'll be honest with you. Like, uh, I truly believe that w when I like when I take a fight to the ground, I can finish like most of these guys in my division. Like, you know, as soon as he hits the ground, I was, I was a little surprised that I couldn't get him in the first round, especially when I had one of the, my favorite position, which was the armbar from side control. But uh, it, it went the way I wanted, though. You know, it wasn't how I expected, but it went the way I wanted. What about just being out there and like did, did it feel like I think your last UFC fight was UFC 97 also trail, yeah. yeah also in Canada did it feel the same or do you feel like a different person out there now you know like here's the thing I'll, I'll compare more like to my first fight in the UFC it was at the Palms and that whole like, arena looked like uh, you know a hundred thousand people arena and it was just I mean, my first fight I was so nervous so it looked like much bigger than it was and today I was so much more relaxed they looked like much smaller I was way more confident so it's like you know it didn't bother me at all to, like that many people you haven't taken off your gloves. Why not? I was sleep with them. I was sleep with them. <laughs> You're so happy to be back, right? I am. I really am. <laughs> what do you want more? A shot at the title? Obviously, you have to work your way up there, or a rematch against Ryan Bader? I've heard you you talking about him this week. You know, uh, here's the thing. Like, I, I try to go like you know step by step move on things. Uh, my UFC record now is one and two, so it's pretty crappy. And then uh, my goal is to get my my numbers like in a positive like you know numbers. Maybe like go three and two. Who knows? And then like fight Bader again. But my whole goal for now is to get the wins. You know, like I just want to get those numbers because people only respect the numbers. You know, everybody thought that was gonna get smashed by Pokrak, and uh, I didn't feel like I was gonna lose that fight. Not even like in one second that I was in my position. So, you know, I just have to make people believe in me first. Then I want to get those wins and make, like eventually rematch Bader and beat him. What do you want next? Anybody, man. Anybody. I want the worst guy in the division so I can get another win. <laughs> well, congrats and welcome back, Vinny. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you.